good. Okay, so these are the needles, by the way, um, the Japanese needle. They, they are all sterile and disposable, and they come in these little packets, and you open it up like this, and there's your needle, your sterile needle, and it's in a little plastic sleeve, that, uh, um, and it's, the tip is still actually protected. I mean, you can't touch it. Now I'm going to do a couple more points because Graham plays water polo, and he's right-handed, and so and, and he's also an honor student, and so he works really hard uh, sitting at a desk at a computer, and um, uh, so he's got um, some chronic shoulder pain on the right hand side here, and so um, now the the actual pain that he has is is actually in. The, the joint itself, which means that I have to release the motor point and trigger point of the uh, um, the infraspinatus muscle. I, I happen to know because I checked him before he made the video that his supraspinatus muscle is actually quite good. Um, uh, if it weren't, I would actually needle the, the supraspinatus muscle just there. But the infraspinatus muscle, which um, again, this is a classic Chinese acupuncture point. In fact, every point I've done so far have been Chinese acupuncture points um, as well as trigger points um, and motor points. So this is the motor point of the infraspinatus. Is this tender at all, Graham? Oh yeah, and then a little bit to the right as yes, well. Yes, I'm going to do that one too. So I'm going to actually mark you with a surgical marker, though I'm not doing surgery, but one of my teachers refers to acupuncture as our version of surgery. Um, so let's see, let's find that right, right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is one, one area right there. And then you said a little bit to the right. What about, by the way, what about up there? Yes. Up there as well. Yeah, there. So infraspinatus, teres major. And what about here? Yeah, that whole area is yeah. super tender. Yeah, how about right there? There, yeah. Yeah, so you can see that his, his well. infraspinatus muscle, which originates there and comes across here and attaches to the upper part of the humerus it's just because it's it's very strong because he does plays water polo and swims you know playing water polo means you're a swimmer um, and so I can feel this lumpy tension right there is that tender at all yeah it feels so good yeah it's so so you know a, a lot of times Graham I don't know if you could hear Graham say it again it feels so good when you it, massage it like that. Yeah, a, a lot of times with trigger points, one way you know it's a trigger point, depending on the patient, if they're used to massage or they, they're used to acupuncture and you press on the trigger point, it feels good right away to be pressed on it. Guess why? Trigger points are areas that have um, restricted blood flow. They're, they're considered ischemic, which means lack of blood. And they're also hypoxic, which, mean, which means that they, don't, they have poor oxygen um, supply. And one of the therapies that you can do for trigger points if you don't have needles is, is what Western medicine calls ischemic compression, which is what I'm doing right now with my, with my middle finger. Ischemic compression is what you do in shiatsu. I'm going to release the pressure for a second. Ischemic compression is when you press on it, and you press on it, and you're actually, by pressing on it, you're actually pushing the blood out of the tissue. You press as hard as is comfortable for the patient, and you maintain an even, uh, an even pressure. Um, uh, this is like if you're doing this at home or you're a massage therapist. And this is what they do in shiatsu. You maintain shiatsu, which is Jap Japanese kind of massage that involves trigger points. Um, you press um, until, the, until it's quite strong. Don't press harder than the person is comfortable with. And then when, they re when they've relaxed and they don't feel the pressure anymore, then you press even harder like that. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. And you press even harder. Take a nice deep breath. And, um, and then you, you press even harder. And you can hold that for about three minutes. And then you've actually, when you release it, uh, blood flushes the area and flushes out the lactic acid and other toxins, and I don't mean woo-woo toxins, I mean the toxic byproducts of anaerobic respiration, if you remember your biochemistry Krebs cycle, when the muscle 
it doesn't have enough oxygen from blood, it still needs energy. If a muscle doesn't have energy, it dies. Um, and, and it makes the energy through the anaerobic respiration. That's what anaerobic, the word anaerobic is associated with, with um, a muscle building because anaerobic respiration creates bigger, thicker muscles, but the byproduct is they're full, full of uh, lactic acid and other byproducts of that which are toxic to the muscles and irritate them, and, and so there it is. Um, and then I'm going to, here's your, your, your shoulder joint, here's the end, uh, here's the clavicle up there, uh, sorry, the spine of the scapula, the clavicle's in front, and then I'm going to come down here um, into here, and I'm going to, right, right there, is that tender there? Not so much? Not as much. Okay, good, okay, good. All right, so that's enough. I'm going to needle these points. I might do one or two more. And here we go. So infraspinatus, and I'm right-handed. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Is it strong? Uh, a little bit. In Chinese medicine, this is called fishing for qi. You put the needle in, and you don't really feel... I feel that it's grabbing, though. I'm going to leave it alone, but... Fishing for chi is when you move the needle around. Oh, yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, so you move the needle around too, so you get the tissue. Um, my camera woman is, 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 uh, is being stressed out. Now, this is such a big point that I sometimes will then, in addition, needle it at an angle towards, we call this circling the dragon in Chinese medicine. The dragon is the trigger point. And I may needle it from an angle. The blue needles are uh, thinner uh, than the purple needles. The needles come in different sizes and lengths, of course. So I sometimes will needle it. Oh, you feel that one? It's just really sensitive in there. I know I'm going to be sore. Okay, yeah. Another byproduct of, of this kind of acupuncture is that you do feel sore afterwards. It's like a post-workout soreness. And I like to encourage people to frame it that way, not to uh, think of it as, an, it's not the pain you came in with. Normally, the pain you came in with, with will be better, and you'll feel really loose, but you can have a post-workout soreness, which I like, because I associate that with that I'm going to feel better. Um, so I'm going to needle this one. And you okay there? Mm -hmm. You feel that? Yeah. Okay. And... Then I'm going to do this one. 